everyone welcome back and today it is a super exciting day because we are preparing for what is going to be mine and cloudy's first ever proper race mum's driving she's even excited i know shetland grand national here we come and we're also doing a stairway show which is kind of a bit like camping but in a horse box yeah in a horse box so it's glamping basically but what i think mum has done is she's overpacked by quite a lot yeah yeah she she even agrees don't you mum yep because we have about four different hand soaps <laughs> that are pink um we have about 20 tea towels that are pastel so we're just on our way to go get cloudy now. I'm gonna, we're gonna bath him, we're gonna ride him, um, and I'm gonna have my last jump on him before tomorrow. Um, we're gonna have to get home quite early, just because I don't know if we're gonna have time to ride popcorn. Do you reckon we? We'll try. We'll try and ride popcorn as well today. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we have got to leave our house at about 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, which is too early for me. So after Harlow's ridden Cloudy at his yard today, we're going to put him in the trailer because I've got the trailer behind and we're going to take him to Popcorn's yard and we're going to bath him at Popcorn's yard and he's going to sleep at Popcorn's yard tonight. Yeah, so Popcorn's going to give him a bit of emotional support through this <laughs> um, and they're having a little sleepover and there is a stable next to Popcorn that's free. So yeah, hopefully they'll be um, stable next to each other. But yeah, Cloudy's going to sleep over at Popcorn's yard tonight. It'll be a pony sleepover. Just because we are also taking Anastasia with us and she is staying at the yard uh, tonight. So it just means that I can just go in the morning, can go pick up Cloudy and Anastasia from the same place and then go straight to the show. Otherwise, I've got to go to Cloudy's yard uh, which takes me 40 minutes Wait. and then another 40 minutes Mom. to the stable to the popcorn jar to get Anastasia so it's like at least an hour and a half before I've Mom. even gone yeah what if we just sleep in the horse box so we can have a bit no we're not sleeping in the horse box tonight because I've got loads of work to do tonight before we go but yeah we're nearly here that's that's our little plan and we'll see you in yeah. a minute all right we'll see you when we get to Cloudy's yard so we're at Cloudy's yard um I haven't seen him yet we've only really, literally just arrived and I'm starting off by filling up all of our hay nets. I think he's gonna need quite a few because he's having a sleepover at Popcorns tonight. Then he's staying at the show, then the travels. So maybe about five or six. Oh, you scared me, Topper. Is that Topper or Zorro? I don't know. These black Shetlands make me get confused. They all look the same. Pouring it down with rain, so. Hopefully that will stop before I ride. I'm trying to get these hay nets as filled as possible. So, also Cloudy's not that greedy, which helps a lot. Look how Cloudy comes in from the field. His mane, there's no words. Um, and his legs are just a bit, his legs is the cleanest part of his body, which is actually quite surprising. So the proper show pamper session isn't happening yet. This is just a quick tidy up. I'm just gonna be riding him in a minute so we can have a practice and then we'll bath him later. Oh my. That's a whole look. Why is it sticking up? <laughs> But why is it sticking up? <laughs> why he looks like the Coella de Ville when she has like the wild crazy hair. I mean this is just a whole art piece here. He's got straight bits, curly bits, wavy bits. Bless his little fluffy socks. He is getting better at picking his feet up. Good boy. He's just like, why are you picking my foot up, human? Later on, we're gonna make this tail all silky and soft when he has a bath, because at the moment it feels just a bit like straw and it's a bit unbrushable at the moment. 
so the rain has just about come to a hold it's just spitting now um, and we thought let's quickly get tacked up um, and do our, um, our session before it starts pouring it down again <laughs> oh I see the jumps oh they look really good there are some new Shetland jumps at the yard and that's going to be nice practice oh there's a Shetland in there oh it's a bit cold actually now it stops raining almost completely it's just a bit chilly now I'm glad I'm riding him today ah, 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 ah. speedy pony I thought he was out of breath. My lips are really dry now. No, like they actually are really dry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I reckon I could do a dressage test on him. He might just think it's like a race and just like go over all the white things because he goes over like white things in here. So it turns out um, the hay that we were shoveling into our two hay nets earlier this morning was actually straw. I, do, I think if we got to the show and we didn't realise that we were taking um, straw, I think Cloudy would have been a bit like, you really think I'm going to race for you when you're feeding me straw? I think he would have been a bit annoyed. Mum, you weren't really paying attention, were you? Um, and I just thought that was the closest thing that looks like hay. Yeah, but I, at least I realise now and not when we got to the showgrounds. So we've got three massive hay nets. We've got our mint one, we've got a navy one that we're borrowing from Mandy, and then we've got our travel one that only has about like 16 squares. So that, that's kind of like a travel one. but. And then we've got loads of buckets back there. We've got our water thing there, rugs, everything. Um, now we're missing the pony, basically. So let's go get the pony and then we can go. Cloudy! Cloudy! Hi! Oh, hi! Hi! <laughs> Come here. Oh, Cloudy, you can't barge through the stable. Come on. He knows something's happening. Right, we're going that way. This way. We'll go around. But you gotta get you, you gotta go see your big brother. Yeah. You gonna go see your big brother. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna walk around the block and then come up. So we've got a nice good long run up. Look. Up. Right, he's all in, so let's go and head to Popcorn's yard. Um, I can't even hear that he's in there. It's, I can see through the crack. He's just munching on some hay. But yeah, I'm super excited. They're gonna have a little sleepover tonight. Right, let's get going. Right, so we have arrived. 
um, at Popcorn's yard. Yeah, he's in there. Cloudy. Wait, Cloudy. Wait, stay. to block him in because he's too too small and he runs under the bars. Should I quickly put him in the arena? Oh yeah. Oh that Holly is laying. I thought she was a pole then. She sounded like we're gonna get in bath now. Do you recognise this Cloudy? Do you recognise this? Popcorn we got your brother Look, Cloudy, look, it's your brother. Oh, yay! So we've made a bit of a barrier for Cloudy because he kept trying to escape. And it's doing a good job, actually, of keeping him securely in there. But I'm just bathing him now, getting him all clean and shiny and looking good for the race tomorrow. But he's being a very, very good boy. We've took like the little nozzle, nozzle hose pointer thing. Don't know what it's called, but we took that off. So, cause this is what it's like at his yard. This is, I can't really tell. This is what it's like at his yard. Um, so we've tried to make it the hose, like the same pressure um, from at his yard so that it's all nice and calm for him. But yeah, he's been quite a good boy now, actually. Good boy, steady. Do you want me to do the same that I did on that side? Steady, look. Cloudy. I'm just gonna put it here for a moment so we can get used to it. Cause it's still very scary on this side. Just gonna put it on his leg for a couple seconds so he can get used to it. Then slowly work my way up to his shoulder. Good boy. I don't know how you're scared of the hose cloudy. It's so nice. Warm. Get a nice warm bath. Popcorn loves it. get that tail nice and clean because that is a monstrosity of wildness. So I'm using the NAF Show Off Shampoo and I'm using the Amir Magic Brush. Um, this helps to really lava up the shampoo and the shampoo is just really nice and lavery as well. It's nice and bubbly. Also makes them quite shiny after their bath as well. I am gonna be conditionering his mane. And as you know, Cloudy is quite a grubby little boy. So by the time we've got here tomorrow, he's probably gonna be quite dirty. We are going to rug him up, but just in the thin, Cloudy, he's just a bit of a fidget pants, he's a Shetland. But he's more fidgety here at his other yard. He doesn't fidget as much. It's probably just cause he's new, his brother's here, he wants to go and see popcorn. Um, he probably knows something's going on because when we bath him, it's very, very normally at his yard. So 
He's actually never had a proper bath like this here before. Um, when we, when he was here, it was just like a hose off after our ride. So this is a, a big first for him. He absolutely hated the hose when we got him. So in three months from going to absolutely despising the hose and not letting it touch him, even from a meter away till letting, well, we giving him a full on pamper session. He's come a very long way and I'm very proud of him. Wait till he's like in another three months. He's gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm. Shall I plait his mane tonight? No. Oh yeah. He is quite dirty, so. Mum, quite a lot of dirt has actually come off of him. Oh my gosh, Mum, look at all of this hair. Look at all of that hair from the magic brush. It's like a cat shedding. I don't know if we should plait his tail tonight, just because I think it will make it a bit easier in the morning. So we don't have to do it when we put him in the lorry. I'm gonna let that sit. He's gonna come and do his mane now. It's a bit difficult because we've got all the lead ropes in the way. Hey, Cody. You're really a good boy now, aren't you? <laughs> Looking in my pockets, the polos. Right, I'm gonna do his tail now. I'm gonna let his mane sit. I'm gonna get all this conditioner out. And the reason why I am standing behind him is one, I know he's not gonna kick, and two, I can do it from quite far away. Oh my goodness, your mane and tail are so silky cloudy. Oh, I've never seen it so clean. I'm gonna work as quick as I can and then we can get a rug on you, yeah? So now we're gonna open Cloudy's new Brand new, he has never worn this. We're gonna open your dry rug, yeah. We're gonna, we, we tried it out with popcorn and it works amazingly. Um, but popcorn only had like a little shower. Um, and now, Cloudy's had a foot on bath, so we're gonna try it with him. It's a rug. Good boy. So nice, you're a bit warmer now. My golly gosh, this is huge. Please be short on the other side. Okay, it's a bit short on the other side, so I need to pull it over a bit. Mom, it's a bit big. Oh, you're a bit tired now, Cloudy. Or it's just the common cookies just about to kick in. Close door, close door, close door. I do not want a Shetland on the loose tonight. <sighs> Stay. So I'm with pony number one now. Um, I'm currently a scratching post. <laughs> oh yeah. But, yeah, you got your little brother sleeping over tonight. 
Yep, and that's going to be all fun. Hopefully you can get some midnight snacks. Yeah. You excited? We've also just changed Cloudy into his pyjamas. And we've put a little rug and a hood on him. Cloudy. Hi. Batman. Little Batman. <laughs> it's so cute. I don't know how you can see out of those eyes. So the hood keeps his mane on the correct side because it, it doesn't really like going on the right side. It goes on this side, which is the wrong side, and it needs to go on that side, which is the right side. It's the right side and it's the right side. That's a bit confusing, but. So he's all dry. That dry rag dried him super, super quick. But yeah, he's got his ginor It looked ginormous compared to him, but it's actually quite small compared to popcorn. He's got a little water, water bucket there. It's a bit sad because he can't see out any of the windows, but I'm sure popcorns can see him. And if Cloudy goes like that, he can probably see popcorn through the bars. But I've got to head home now. We've got a very, very, very early start tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching today's vlog. I wish me good luck and I will see you in the next one. Bye.